On this video I'm going to show you the autocomplete component which is a new component we are working on. I'm going to create a form and here is the component. Basically it's a, an edit component uh, it inherits uh, directly from the edit component and uh, allows you to uh, show a list of uh, options or items in a drop down uh, that can be uh, selected by the user. The easiest way to use it is to use the items property so here we can write Okay. So now let's run. Now as the user types depending on the keystrokes of the user, you can see how the results are filtered. But uh, well, there there are some properties we can use to to tweak the behavior of the component. For example, autofill. Uh, this property fills the the component with the uh, first match on the drop down list. You see. There are also another properties, for example, select first. I'm going to disable this one. Now the first item uh, on the drop down list is selected, so just pressing enter uh, fills the, the component. Okay, this is uh, nice when we have uh, when we know in advance the list of uh, possibilities uh, or the the options uh, we want to show to the user. But uh, sometimes we need to uh, provide those options on uh, on an event, and depends on on the data we have stored on our application. For that, uh, we can use the onGetItems event. And here, I'm going to build an array. For example, using the the months, the the names of the uh, months. Let's see results. Here goes the month number, the day, okay, and now on this event we need to provide uh, all the results. Um, each uh, result must go in in a in I its own line. For example. We are going to iterate through the results array and dump to the output the value of the month and then a new line. This event is called by the component using AJAX uh, when the user is typing. So let's check how it works. You see, now what we have here is a list of all uh, months. There is no filter. So, what we need to provide is, uh, what we need to do is to provide only the results that match with the filter. Uh, this can be done easily by high stack and on the event 
uh, params we have the uh, a string the user has typed on the edit control. This is on params query and if it matches the very first position on the on the uh, string then echo the the result. Let's see how it works. You see only months starting with uh, J uh, February, March, April. As you can see at the right, uh, when uh, an AJAX operation is performed, there is a, an image. We can change that image using the loading image property. Uh, I have here several ones, for example, this one or well let's use this one and change that is as simple as edit that property see now we have another property now just for the sake of this example I'm going to increment the amount of uh, results so you can see the effect a bit better As you can see, there is no need to reload the page because there is an AJAX operation and we are dumping 10 uh, of the results through the app. Okay, so now uh, the usual operation for this component is to be connected to uh, some data source. So what we are going to do is to provide the results uh, using a, a table. For that uh, we create a database, a data source and a table. First I'm going to set up the database component. I'm going to connect it. This is a database I have on my server, local host, root and test. Now this is the table so I connect it to the database. For the filter, uh, I'm going to use a table which has, which is multi-language. So I'm going to filter that uh, uh, table by uh, language ID equals to uh, one. I'm not going. I'm not going to restrict the the number of results. And then I'm going to set here is the products description table. Now I attach the data source and here there are two properties lookup source which I attach to the data source and then lookup display which is products name which is the field that contains all the results we want to show. So now let's run and check. You see this results comes uh, directly from the uh, database table and there is no need we uh, write any code for that. So this is automatic. Anything with E, F. So as you can see it's very easy to to have uh, this kind of control. This is very nice for uh, user registration forms so you can use it with uh, countries and things like that. that uh, there is a lot of uh, information to show and a lot of options uh, options to show. So mm, I think it's it's very nice and can save you a lot of work. Okay, bye.